guys. Uh, so we're going to start the official build on the 12A. Everything has been cleaned. We got new uh, bearings in everything. Um, Apex seals are in amazing shape. So I'm going to reuse those. There's no, no wear basically at all on them. I think they were pretty much brand new um, in this build. But we do have new corner seal plugs, uh, Apex seal springs, side springs, and corner seal springs, as well as O-rings for the control the oil control rings, we got new, um, basically the Atkins full kit to re-gasket the whole thing. So first what we're going to do is uh, get the um, side seal springs and the corner seals in. Um, you're going to want Vaseline to pack this thing and then you're also going to want, I'm going to use some uh, Permex uh, assembly lube for all the bearings, which will be nice, and then you got... Uh, uh, Hylomar Blue, that's for the coolant seals that go in the housings. And then you got Honda Bond, which goes on the uh, oil pan. So, let's uh, get to it. Okay, so, got a new side seal springs. And these go in with the side seals. They help to push them up, obviously. These suckers out. And when putting these in, you want the angle of the edge of the springs, which let's see if you can see this. Can I get this in focus a bit? Here we go. So you can see how it's bent up. You want that to be facing up so that it pushes the corners of the side seals up. So they go in, like so. What I'm going to do to help me push these things along is I'm going to use an old uh, Apex seal spring. I'll push all this stuff in. So now I've got uh, all six uh, side springs, side seal springs in. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, these guys, which are the Atkins. Uh, read that right there. These are the corner seal, uh, corner seal springs. These are the fatter styles. Um, so what we're going to do is put these in, and then I'll put the corner seals in, and we'll put the uh, the side seals in. Okay, so you can see that my side seal springs are in, and what I did is I put Vaseline uh, in each corner to hold it down, and now I'm going to Vaseline, um, and I'm going to put the corner uh, seals in, and I'll Vaseline those down as well, and then we'll work on the side seals. Now I've got corner seals in, so now I'm going to work on the side seals, get those Vaseline in. Okay, so I got my shop all nice and cleaned up for the most part. So now what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna put the uh, motor mount right here. I have new bolts to convert it to an actual bolt from Atkins instead of 
um, the stuff that was on there before. I didn't like that. But, uh, see here. It goes on like this, long side towards the exhaust. So, we'll put that on. And it'll go move over to the clutch and just keep going. So what I got on this side is I got the, uh, right here, uh, Pack Performance um, oil feed neck. So it has a 10 AN uh, line right here so I can throw that onto my catch can, which is right there. Jags, I think it's like a one liter, or half a liter catch can. Um, I got an oil plate, which will be for my uh, oil temperature and for my turbo feed line. Um, and I'm gonna leave everything off for right now as I get the engine in, kind of clean up a bit. So I'm gonna get to that and I'll report back. We got the flywheel on, I mean the, uh, uh, the clutch and clutch pack and stuff. It's all lined up good. I got some more of the AN fittings on right there. I'm gonna put the uh, uh, thermostat housing on with the thermostat in it. And then I'm gonna put the mounts in and I should be able to jack it up or lift it up with my uh, ceiling jack. It should mount right in, so get to it. Ugh, had to drill out and adjust the um, clutch slave cylinder. I drilled it out to an M10 by 1.5. The, the threads were absolutely mangled, just the soft aluminum. And I don't know, when I pulled it off, <clears throat> there was like a, I don't even know what's that. There was like a Imperial unit bolt of some kind. Um, so drilled that out, M10 by 1.5. And then I'll put this in, a great, much bigger bolts too, so this should never go anywhere. And then I'm gonna mount that to the engine and drop it in. So as you can see, engine's now in. Got everything bolted in for the most part. Mocked up the turbo because I like the way that looks, but that'll be coming off and I'm gonna be not running the turbo yet. I'm gonna tune the uh, ACE CFI first and then add the turbo. But uh, yeah, got pretty much most of the way there. Just gotta run fuel lines now and the uh, line to the back brake. And then I've got new tire rod ends for all the whole suspension. I've got new out. bushings in there. So I'll be replacing the sway bar links and the sway bar bushings as well. Kind of refreshing up everything the best I can. And yeah, looking pretty good so far. Okay, so I pulled off the turbo uh, so I can mount up my ACZFI kill shot. So then now what I can do, I just got the distributor in there. Now what I can do is start running all my fuel lines which you'll notice right here is a uh, 8 an inlet and a 6 an outlet and those will be run all the way back to my surge tank which I'll be kind of mounting up pretty soon see if I can give you kind of a good uh, view of what we got going on so you can see right there is my oil cooler with my fan I'll have that hooked up to my coolant temperature switch so it'll kick on when my first coolant temp fan kicks on and then those are my lines there's the out there's the back in which goes into the front cover I've got Willwood uh, master cylinder for my clutch and master cylinder for my brakes still got to run one more brake line to the rear brakes but I'll be quick and easy so I will update you as uh, as I make progress.